hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi my name is wangari mwangi i'm a first year at harvard university and i make college related content okay i'm back to my usual filming location and i thank the lord so much anyway welcome to another episode of financial aid revealed a uh, kind of like small series of videos i'm making where i deep dive into the financial aid world of u.s universities and give you guys the information and the tools to take advantage of all the opportunities that are out there as usual audio working on it 2021 will be better but let's let's get into the video today i'm here to answer the question all of you are wondering okay i make it no secret that i attend harvard for free okay and i put for free in brackets quotation marks because it's like mm, it's not like free but it's like free and like let's talk about it and well it's less free and more like i'm being paid to study which is weird to say but like it's true though so uh yeah so how did i apply for financial aid at harvard and i got a full ride um it's not always like obvious that financial aid would be a full ride but mine is 100 percent thank the lord because i cannot afford even one percent of that eighty five thousand dollar school fees anyway so i applied to the university through the common application just like everyone else submitted my common app my essays gucci gucci we were good i got accepted i was like oh wow oh she was also surprised the kid screaming outside and then <laughs> before you get accepted um, i forgot the deadline but i applied for financial aid through the css profile which is a profile on the college board website if you go to college board there's a place for css you fill it in and i applied for need-based financial aid that's the only type of aid harvard gives where your financial aid is based on how much your money how much your money how much your family can afford to pay it's not like merit or a's or whatever everyone at harvard is smart and it's like low-key alarming but yeah it's need-based financial aid and i filled in my css profile i get this question a lot what did i put in as my family contribution dead ass dead ass my friends i put in zero dollars i'm not even joking i put in zero dollars and i don't know if that's the best advice i would give a person to put in zero dollars but like if it's true it's true you guys for me going to the us it was literally all or nothing either they pay for me everything or i just can't go so some people put in like ten thousand dollars five thousand dollars two thousand dollars one thousand dollars i can't give you advice on that because i'm not your financial advisor and i don't know how much your family makes but be honest and just like say me i put zero dollars and i guess it worked out but um you know initially i was scared i was like oh oh what if what if they they're like hey this chick is too poor oh oh but my dad just looked at me and he was like if you don't put zero dollars you will get a job to pay for that amount you put there so <laughs> yeah that's that and obviously i submitted my parents tax returns and their bank statements through idoc and idoc is a secure um file transmission submission website please don't submit financial documents through email emails can be hacked very easily submit through idoc tax returns nana nana bank statements i also had to submit my own tax return because because i'm over 18 in kenya i should be paying tax but it was just like a kra statement that said zero 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 everywhere then what does it cover i get this question a lot it's divided into two parts which is like build and unbuild i'm not essentially very clear i'm not i'm not very clear on the difference between build and unbuild but let me just say so the build part is tuition so um like what's tuition by the way yeah whatever tuition is room and board so accommodation and food on campus in the dining hall and health insurance yes i get health insurance but i think it only applies in the state of massachusetts so i can't like use it here i can't go to like nairobi hospital and be like oh i have insurance from harvard no and then unbuild are a stipend for no not stipend but like an amount of money for personal expenses so for example books or um you can use it to buy a plane ticket you can use it to buy winter clothes you can use it for social purposes or for like um 
what are those things called toiletries when i get there or whatever so there's an amount of money allocated for personal expenses and also this is this thing called a startup grant where they give you an amount of money to ease your transition to us so obviously i have not transitioned to the us and i will not be transitioning anytime soon because harvard hates international students but like that's fine um yeah a startup grant essentially most people are like okay not most but like if i in normal circumstances i would have used my grant for an air ticket because harvard doesn't pay for me an air ticket and that transitions smoothly into what it does not cover it does not cover airfare if you want to travel home every year you have to pay it for yourself it doesn't cover transport in the greater boston area in the us if i want to take like the train i can get a discount because of being a student but like harvard does not give me money for that and eating outside the dining hall like if i want to go to a restaurant i would have had to pay that for myself and obviously i think the main things are covered like they covered books they covered tuition they covered health insurance they covered room board accommodation which is i think the base the base um financial requirements and the rest are more frivolous things necessary but like kind of frivolous then the next question i get is do i have to work so that answer is usually yes but now no so as part of my financial aid agreement there is a part where i'm supposed to work and contribute some amount of money every semester and even over the summer but then obviously because of covid 19 i'm not in the us i can't get a job in the us and i do not contribute so they removed that for this year but in every other year it's there it's just that this year i don't have to work yes but when i get on campus whenever god knows that will be <laughs> when i get on campus um i will have to get a job and then terms and conditions of the financial aid honestly i am not 100 percent sure what the terms and conditions are but i know the basics so for example i have to take a full course load so that's like 16 credits which is four classes per semester which is like what i'm taking now Okay, what I took in the fall. So I have to take a full course load. If I take a half course load, I think they recalculate it to be like half. And if I take a leave of absence, I don't get any money. So yeah, I have to take a full course load. And then um, another term and condition would have been to get a job on campus, which is now been removed. And also, yeah, I don't know if I have a minimum GPA requirement. I don't think so. But like, you know, just like don't fail. Like, Eighty-five thousand dollars a year, then you fail. That's not. That's not. Yeah, just don't don't fail. And things like comply with the honor code. So the honor code is like a. Essentially, it's telling you don't cheat. Like be a person of honor, a person of integrity. Like literally, they give us like exams. My exams were not like there was no invigilation. It was a document. You have twenty-four hours. Obviously, it's timed, so when you open the document, there's a clock running, and it's open book. You can check your notes. You can check the university web, the course website. You just can't check Google, and they trust you not to check Google. So, like, there's no one checking whether you're not checking or checking. You just, like, if you get caught that you did cheat, it's going to be very horrible for you. But, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to get expelled in my first semester. So, yeah, don't don't cheat. So, comply with the honor code, um, visa, federal, and immigration stuff. Don't be caught with, like, cocaine on campus and shit like that. Your, your, your financial aid will be rescinded. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, those are the general terms and conditions of my financial aid agreements. Next is stipends. And this one is a bit salty. It's a bit, um, yeah. So, when I say I'm being paid to study... Essentially, they're giving me, they're giving Harvard students who are remote a stipend. And so it's because of COVID um, regulations. Obviously, this stipend is very important for people who come from lower income households. For some people, it's the only source of income for their family during this whole time. And so it's not like we're just partying and wasting money nope this covid stipend is covering accommodation and board for people people pay for electricity for wi-fi for water and all the basic necessities they need to have a good semester and a smooth semester and as for ipads which is what i'm using um it is a requirement for some classes so like i was taking a math class where i need an ipad and next semester i think like two of my classes will need an ipad hopefully and yeah so 
I bought my own. I bought this iPad like with part of my COVID stipend, stipend, so I keep it forever. But there was an option for Harvard to buy for you an iPad. So what would happen is if you are an international student, you buy the iPad or um yeah you buy the ipad and then they'll send you the money to reimburse you once you like send them a copy of the receipt or whatever people in the u.s were just given ipads so it's not like they'll, they'll stay with the ipad forever it's just that they'll stay with it for one year and then once we get back on campus in 2021 hopefully <laughs> hopefully in like august 2021 you give the ipad back to harvard but yeah they did give out free ipads <laughs> And also the other stipend, there's a stipend for winter clothes. We won't be on we won't be on campus for winter, but usually there's a stipend for that. You can volunteer and be paid for volunteer work. The summer before my first year, I did some volunteer work. I got paid. Um, you can get an internship and then they'll give you a stipend if your internship is unpaid. So you're being paid to have an internship which is technically not supposed to be paid for, which is really cool. And honestly i'm not going to complain it's really cool to go to a university that has the finances to pay for all these things Nuggler, not going to lie not going to lie um yeah you know that billion dollar endowment is thick <laughs> anyway these are a few questions i got i put up a tab on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram please go and check that out and follow me it will be on the screen and some common questions i got is does it cover full tuition yes it does does it cover room and accommodation yes it does do you get money for laptops and tablets in normal times so yes and no tablets no Tablets are only necessary because of the whole remote learning thing. Laptops, yes. So Harvard does have a computer fund where you can get a loan of up to $1,000 to buy a computer, which is really cool, I think. Is my financial aid for all four years? Yes, it's for all four years. Is it guaranteed? Yes, it's guaranteed. Um, So I don't have to reapply for aid every year, but I have to fill in a CSS profile every year. I think it's CSS. Yeah, I have to fill in CSS profile every year. And as long as your financial um, income doesn't either increase or decrease rapidly, you're pretty much guaranteed that it will stay the same. Obviously, um, the expenses of the university change every year. So this year it might be 85K, next year it will be like 87K. So they adjust your financial aid to meet the inflation levels because we love inflation <laughs> but yeah it stays pretty much the same unless you like lose a whole source of income or you gain a huge source of income it doesn't change does it cover visa and airfare so airfare no but i get uh you get a grant to cover personal expenses and it's enough to cover your ticket if you choose and then visa fees yes and no so you what i did is I paid for the visa fee myself and then I asked Harvard to reimburse me. So they send you back the $400 or whatever it costs to um, pay for the visa fare. And I think there's a university that was going to pay for my airfare. I think it was Colombia. Colombia was going to pay for me two tickets. One to go for like a campus tour and tour New York and one for the fall. Like dead ass. Like coronavirus ruined all my plans and I just... I just like huh i just like how anyway is health insurance included yes but only in massachusetts um i think i think like honestly have you ever tried to read the terms and conditions of health insurance i tried and i failed and i just accepted that mm, that language is just not for me then the question i got is can you apply for maximum aid yes of course i applied for 100 percent for me it was all or nothing i put in zero dollars as my expected family contribution you guys um <laughs> yeah so you can apply for full aid i just i always say this is that apply for what you need if you need 80 percent ask for 80 percent and don't ask for 100 percent that 20 percent you're asking for extra could be used for someone else who really really needs it so this is less of a selfish situation and more of a just ask for what you need and be satisfied with it yeah those are common questions i got about my um financial aid let's talk about colombia for one minute okay because i think Colombia was the best financial aid packet I got. It was Colombia, then Harvard, then Yale that gave me really, really good financial aid. But Colombia's was there as the best. They were going to pay for my ticket to a Tava 
campus tour they're going to pay for my ticket to attend to go to school in the fall they and i got nominated to be um so i applied to the full foundation engineering school and i was nominated as one of the engineering scholars it's called like the eggleston scholar i'm not very conversant with it but it came with additional like advantages like the attending um a campus tour where they'd pay for you a round trip and accommodation and stuff like that it was going to be so cool they give you a ten thousand dollar stipend throughout your four years for you to do internships and research and study abroad um there was also like access to the whole engineering community and previous alumni of the scholar award there was like guaranteed research opportunities and employment opportunities and it was like kind of crazy and i was like oh my god why what how me all this why all the i was just like all this what columbia engineering school is amazing and I don't think that's something that's talked about very often and i don't know why so if you have been on the fence about applying to colombia and it's in new york like bitch what what like except the fact that bread is 1000 bob it's amazing but uh side note that was a very random side note so my friends that is pretty much everything that's how i attend harvard for free and yeah we get stipends there are so many opportunities to work to get internships to volunteer and it's what we were looking for that's the reason i left all the universities the amazing universities in my country and in my continent to look for ones across the ocean because there's no way i would have been able to find such opportunities and such funding in a kenyan university that's crazy the amount of money you spend in four years at harvard is wild like if you add it up like the tuition the internships the volunteer you just add it up and you think about how much money that is if you convert it to kenya shilling and it's mind-blowing and that's why i'm very passionate about making the best of your time at harvard um sometimes it's really hard to remember that when times are getting tough but i think it's a good north point that guides me whenever i'm feeling a bit down and um yeah i'm going to shut up now because i've said everything i wanted to say and obviously there's someone constructing <laughs> yes i swear to god i just i don't know i just i just i don't know is there any quiet place in nairobi i don't know anyway i need to buy a microphone that is my goal for christmas buy myself a microphone but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it cleared up a few things for you i'm sure if you have any comments you will leave them down below because the comment section of my videos is always popping and i love you guys so much thank you for watching um stay tuned for more episodes of the financial aid revealed series feel free to leave any questions that you have in general about whether a whether about harvard or financial aid stuff in general um like this video comment share subscribe to my channel please thank you so much for over 1000 subscribers now um i'm so glad that y'all are here and listening to me <laughs> thank you for watching yeah that's that's it bye